Eternal is a free-to-play online collectible card video game developed and published by Dire Wolf Digital. Eternal is available for iOS devices, Android, Xbox One and PCs using Steam. The game features cross-platform play, allowing players to use any of the supported platforms to compete with each other. The game takes place in a Weird West fantasy setting. The game was in Steam Early Access in November 2016 and then had its official wide release in November 2018 that includes support for the Xbox One. Eternal is a turn based card game between two opponents that use constructed decks with various amounts of cards. Players use their power cards to cast spells, use attachments, or summon units to attack the opponent, with the goal of reducing the opponent's health to zero. Winning matches and completing quests will earn in-game gold, rewards in the form of new cards or packs, and other in-game prizes. Players can buy card packs or access to card drafting modes by using gold or real money microtransactions to collect cards for use in their decks. There are also cosmetic items for purchase. The game features several modes of play, including ranked matches and single-player campaigns. New content for the game involves the addition of new card sets and gameplay, taking the form of either expansion packs or campaigns that reward the player with collectible cards upon completion. Gameplay Games of Eternal consist of two opponents either player versus player, or player versus an AI opponent using decks of varying amount of cards containing units, attachments, powers, and spells. The goal is to reduce your opponent's health pool from 25 to 0 or to make the other player's deck empty. <laughs> cards There are four types of cards in Eternal. Power cards are the resource system for the game. You draw power cards from your deck and can play one per turn. Decks must consist of between one-third road to two-thirds RDS of only power cards. Unit cards represent characters and creatures in the game. Attachment cards are played either on a unit in the case of weapons and curses or on a player avatar for relics, relic weapons, and cursed relics. Spell cards have an immediate effect when played, and then are discarded. Fast spells can be played mid combat or during your opponent's turn. Eternal allows players to disenchant unwanted cards or any cards collected beyond the maximum of four into a quantity of Shiftstone that can then be used to create new cards of the player's choice. Shiftstone is also acquired after opening each card pack, from completing certain achievements, or from faction rank up rewards. Factions All cards in Eternal are divided into five «factions», along with a sixth «factionless» category. The five factions are Fire red is the faction of creation and destruction, most problems can be handled with quick and violent solutions. Justice green is the faction of order, both in civic harmony and brutal tyranny. Primal blue is the faction of nature in both its savage fury and pristine beauty. Shadow purple is the faction of ambition and instinct, hidden paths lead to dangerous secrets. Time yellow is the faction of learning and discovery, knowledge is the key to power. In addition, the factions can be combined into a set of ten pairs named after locations in the game world. They are <laughs> Set releases, campaigns The Empty Throne is the free base campaign that serves as a tutorial to introduce new players to the game. Players use pre-constructed decks from each faction to play through five stories consisting of four games each. Each match won awards new cards that are added to the player's deck. Upon completing each story, players keep all the cards that were used. Playing through all five stories to complete the base campaign awards five decks overall. The Empty Throne is also the name for the first full set that was released on November 19, 2016, that features 413 cards. Each full set release has its own card pack associated with it that only contains cards from that set. Jex Bounty is the first additional campaign and mini set that was released on February 16, 2017. The campaign introduced 16 cards and each added campaign will cost either in-game gold or gems. 
Players take on the role of an apprentice to Jack, the bounty hunter, who guides them on a series of 16 single-player missions. Each mission is played with a constructed deck of the player's creation and uses special rules that alter the game. Completing each mission awards the player with four copies of the cards that can only be acquired by completing Jack's bounty missions. Omens of the Past is the second full set that was released on July 14, 2017. The set features 252 cards, new faction pairs and new mechanics such as Spark that adds an additional effect if the opponent has been damaged this turn. The Tale of Horus Traver is the second campaign and mini set that was released on November 3, 2017. The campaign introduced 23 cards and 16 missions. Players take on the role of homesteader Horus Traver, as he is guided towards his destiny as a stranger by Aziandal. Each mission is played with a constructed deck and uses special rules that alter gameplay. Completing each mission awards the player with four copies of the cards that can only be acquired by completing the Tale of Horus Traver missions. The Dusk Road is the third full set that was released on December 18, 2017. The set features 280 cards, new mechanics such as Nightfall that swaps between day and night, new avatars, and expands upon the lore of the Land of Myria via the card art. Dead Reckoning is the third campaign and mini set that was released on March 7, 2018. It includes 25 cards and 18 missions. It tells the story of Valkyrie Captain Icaria's rebellion against Lord Commander Roland, so its story begins in the past before the events of the Empty Throne campaign and then continues until Roland is ultimately killed. Completing each mission awards the player with four copies of the cards that can only be acquired by completing Dead Reckoning missions. The Fall of Argenport is the fourth full set that was released on June 28, 2018. The set features 279 cards and new mechanics like Inspire that does something when you draw a minion and Spellcraft, that lets you do an additional effect if you spend more power, Into Shadow is the fourth campaign and mini set that was released on September 19, 2018. It includes 23 cards and 17 missions. It follows Vara in her pursuit of Aziandal, who stole her memories, and the discovery that Kyphus, her father, is still alive, Defiance is the upcoming fifth full set. Topic: Ranked, Casual, and Gauntlet. In Ranked PvP, Casual PvP, and Gauntlet PvE modes, players use constructed 75-card decks using the cards in their collection. All of these modes are free to enter, and players earn rewards based on overall performance. Ranked mode is a monthly leaderboard ladder divided into five brackets through which players climb, bronze, silver, gold, diamond and master, gaining rating points with every win and losing points with each loss. Each win earns rewards in the form of cards and in-game gold which can be used to enter other game modes or acquire card packs. Casual is similar to ranked mode except it does not have a ladder. Gauntlet is a series of PvE opponents in which players attempt to win seven consecutive games, culminating in a boss game with a special game rule for an additional challenge. Rewards increase with the number of games won and are received by players either when they defeat the final boss or when the player is eliminated by a single loss. Topic: <laughs> Draft and Forge. In Draft PvP and Forge PvE modes, players build a new deck from a limited pool of cards presented to them. Both modes require in-game gold or gems from microtransactions with real money to enter. Players keep all of cards they selected, along with additional rewards for winning games. Draft mode consists of a pool of 48 cards selected from four packs of 12 cards each, plus any number of Sigil Power cards, arranged into a 45-card deck by the player. Forge mode requires players to select 25 cards, one at a time, from sets of three cards presented by the game, these sets will come from the first two factions selected by the player. Power cards are added automatically after all cards are selected. After a deck is constructed, these two modes are played until a player earns seven wins, experiences two, three, two for gauntlet, three for draft losses or retires. Puzzles Eternal features many puzzles that focus on different game mechanics such Deadly kill any unit damaged and Aegis negates one effect from the player's opponent. 
These are single player challenges that when completed award a one time reward of gold. Topic: Events. Since transitioning from closed to open beta, Eternal has hosted in-game limited time PVP events with their own unique twists. Some of the events were the Shadow Eclipse event on August 21, 2017 that made players draw an extra card each turn and the Dusk Road Preview event on December 14, 2017 that allowed players to play with cards from the Dusk Road set before it was released. Beginning in April 2018, Eternal has hosted a monthly sealed deck league. This event requires players to build a deck of 45 cards while only using cards collected from packs earned from the event that begins with 8 packs and ends with 14 packs. Between matches, players may modify their deck. After the monthly event is over, players are rewarded with a number of card packs and a random premium card based on their leaderboard results, and all participants are given an exclusive card back. Topic. Rewards Rewards in Eternal take the form of individual cards, gold and packs. Rewards come in treasure chests of varying rarity, bronze, silver, gold and diamond. Each chest has a small chance to upgrade to the next highest rarity chest. Rewards are earned after every casual and ranked mode win, and upon completion of drafts, events, forges, and gauntlets. Additionally, rewards at the end of each monthly chapter are determined by a player's final rankings in both ranked and draft modes as well as in the sealed deck league. Since the game's inception, various promo cards have been offered for a limited time as free in-game rewards to players that complete specific challenges. These cards may be created with Shiftstone after the promotion period is over. Topic: Development Eternal was announced in January 2016 at PAX South, and began a closed beta that April. On November 18, 2016, closed beta accounts were wiped and open beta began. Closed beta players received a number of free card packs determined by the size of their closed beta card collection. Since that date, the game is still considered to be in early access. On Steam as of March 2018, the game was developed at Dire Wolf Digital by a team that includes Magic, the Gathering Hall of Fame players Luis Scott Vargas and Patrick Chapin as well as other Magic, the Gathering professional players including Connolly Woods, Patrick Sullivan and Josh Utter Layton. In June 2017, the iPad client was ready for regional release in Australia and Canada. A short time later the iPad client was released worldwide. Topic Story Topic The Eternal Throne Eternal is the story of the struggle for the Eternal Throne of Myria when it is left vacant by the disappearance of King Caiphas. The throne itself has magical properties, as depicted in the epilogue to the Empty Throne campaign, but the scope and nature of its abilities are currently unclear. Scions King Caiphas is gone, those with the strongest claim to the vacant Eternal Throne are the five scions in Eternal, powerful characters who could claim the Eternal Throne while having their own agendas to pursue. Roland is the commander of the Crownwatch, the acting regent of Argenport in the absence of an official ruler and Caiphas's uncle. He attempts to maintain order using his army, which starts a civil war within the city. Island is a powerful shaman of the barbarian tribes that nearly destroyed Argenport before a truce was reached that culminated with her marriage to King Caiphas. Caleb is a headstrong warrior with little interest in politics, whose status as Caiphas's illegitimate son with an unknown mother has weakened his claim to the throne. Vara is the favored heir to the eternal throne as Caiphas's daughter, but has grown tired of being a political pawn of others and instead explores the Shadowlands for her own ends. Talir is among the most gifted magic users in Myria. She is Caiphas's sister and the arch magister of the Praxis Arcanum. Other characters 
Caiaphas is the former occupant of the eternal throne. Each of the scions is defined by their relationship to him. Jek, the bounty hunter is the protagonist and narrator of the opening cinematic, as well as the Jek's bounty campaign. Icaria was the first Valkyrie and their captain but turned against Roland to lead a rebellion against his rule. Aziandal took down Caiaphas and ended up breaking the seal of the Eternal Throne. Aziandal has guided Vara through the Shadowlands and gave her a magical amulet that erased her memories. The Strangers are an army of men whose faces are marked with a glowing purple symbol created by Aziandal. Horus Traver is a simple homesteader who gets caught up in the struggle for the Eternal Throne. Reception Since its release, Eternal has enjoyed positive reviews by players and media alike. As of September 2017, it is rated 9 tenths on the Steam Store and 4.5.5 on both the iOS App Store and Google Play. Dire Wolf Digital has also promoted the game at numerous conventions including 2016 PAX South, 2016 Gen Con, 2017 PAX East, 2017 PAX West, 2017 Gen Con, and 2018 PAX South. PC Gamer praised the use of instant cards that can be played during your opponent's turn while making things streamlined and quick. The reviewer says the game had his favorite draft mode in digital gaming that creates a deck from four card packs that the player keeps after the mode is finished. Eternal was determined to be the most free-to-play friendly digital card game when compared to Hearthstone, The Elder Scrolls, Legends, Shadowverse and Gwent after comparing the dollar cost of the top decks, the wins cost of the top decks, the starting collection value, the bonus from Draft, Arena and how easy it is to manage the card collection. <laughs>